From details of their messy divorce to allegations of infidelity from both sides, here's who Christine Baumgartner left Kevin Costner for. And the Hollywood actor has a few things to get off his chest. In 1994, Costner reached a divorce settlement with his first wife, Cindy Silva, and made history while he was at it. Cindy reportedly walked away with an $80 million settlement. It was one of the most expensive divorces in Hollywood history, and Costner probably swore, never again. Maybe that's why he had his second wife, also a former Miss Costner now, sign a prenup when they got married in 2004. Handbag designer Christine Baumgartner was reportedly only entitled to $1.5 million per their prenup, and she wasn't happy. When news of their divorce broke, Costner told the press that the former couple were trying to resolve things as amicably as possible. After all, they share three children together. For a while, it did seem like the former couple wanted things to go as smoothly as they could, but then Christine's lawyers brought up money. Costner's lawyers have argued that Christine was getting greedy and trying to throw out the prenup. She also wanted her Hollywood ex to pay upwards of $100,000 a month in child support. Her logic? Luxury was in the children's DNA at this point. Anyway, the once amicable split soon turned nasty, and Christine was reportedly fuming when a judge honored their prenup and reduced the child support order to a little over $60,000 a month. At this point, it's safe to say that the former couple are not on friendly terms. Since their split turned nasty, they've been reportedly badmouthing one another to their friends, and Kevin has made a pretty shocking claim. You probably guessed it. The Hollywood star accused his ex of cheating on him. To add insult to injury, Christine's moved on with one of Kevin's best buddies. Well, they're probably not friends anymore. You might have heard the name Josh Connor pop up in Kevin and Christine's divorce proceedings. When things turn nasty between the two, Kevin's lawyers accuse Christine of infidelity. The Hollywood star had reportedly been suspicious of the two for a while, but didn't think much of it. It wasn't until July of 2023, a month before their divorce proceedings started, that Christine and Josh went somewhat official. By somewhat, we mean that their close friends and family knew they were seeing each other. Of course, the news got around to Kevin, and he wasn't happy. His lawyers tried to claim that Christine had been seeing Josh before the couple split, but the former Mrs. Costner told the judge under oath that Josh was just a good friend. Fast forward to now, the divorce has been settled, the former couple aren't on speaking terms, and they've both found love elsewhere. That's right, Kevin's been in another relationship for a while now, too. The 69-year-old's been dating musician Jewel for a few months, starting in late 2023. The two were first seen vacationing on a private island together, cuddling and laughing with one another. By all accounts, Kevin looked like he was happy with his new lady love. Christine's happy, too. Josh and Christine went official with their relationship in January of 2024 after the Daily Mail posted a few pictures of the two of them walking hand in hand on a beach. It later came out that Josh had flown Christine to Hawaii on his private jet to spend Christmas and New Year's Eve together. Josh became a close friend of the Costner family after he moved in next door with his family. It was actually Kevin's daughter who befriended Josh's daughter and introduced the financier to the Hollywood actor. Kevin and Josh allegedly hit it off immediately. They'd hang out, grab a drink, and socialize whenever possible. Behind the scenes, though, Costner's lawyers alleged that Christine and Josh hit it off well, too. Another reason why Kevin's sure that Christine was seeing Josh long before the Daily Mail posted pictures of their Hawaii vacation together was because Josh left his wife just five months before Christine told him she wanted out too. Josh was officially divorced in January of 2023, and then a few months later, Christine told Kevin, her husband of 19 years, that it was over. You have to remember that Christine and Kevin's relationship started sometime in 2000. They dated for four years before getting married in 2004. Did you know they had temporarily separated once before? Kevin already has a few adult kids from his relationship with Cindy and a son with model Bridget Rooney. He once told Christine that he didn't want any more kids and this caused a rift in their marriage. He warmed up to the idea later on, after all, and the couple had three kids. Besides that temporary roadblock, Christine and Kevin were solid. Their marriage was a rarity in Hollywood, one that looked like it was actually going to last. Well, guess not. Christine's divorce announcement shocked the world and caught Kevin by surprise, too. Reports allege that Kevin tried everything he could to get his marriage back on track, including leaving Yellowstone. Apparently, Christine was unhappy with how much time Kevin was spending away from the family. She gave an ultimatum. It was either their family or his work, and he chose the family. Kevin blindsided the cast and crew of Yellowstone by announcing his departure ahead of the final season. 
Sure, there were a lot of factors there. Some believe that Kevin and series creator Taylor Sheridan got into a heated argument after Kevin tried to steamroll production. Some believe that Kevin was being a typical Hollywood diva on set. Still, some believe that Kevin really did want to salvage his relationship with Christine. His former wife, however, was adamant that there was nothing to salvage anymore. Sources suggest that Christine had already made up her mind and just needed Kevin to sign on the dotted line. Of course, the divorce settlement case prolonged the whole thing, but Christine reportedly wanted out as soon as possible. Another source told Us Weekly that Kevin is seething at the fact that Christine went public with her alleged affair partner so soon. The same source also provided Christine's perspective and suggested that Kevin too moved on three months after their divorce. So in his former wife's eyes, he had nothing to complain about. Sources close to Christine have gone ahead and denied any allegations of infidelity. They're claiming that Josh and Christine really weren't anything other than good friends, until recently that is. Christine's friends told publications that Josh was there for her when she was going through a hard time. They're calling him her rock, and it wasn't until fairly recently that things turned romantic between the two. They're asking if it's a crime for Christine, who was a single woman by then, to move on. If anything, Christine's sure that Kevin cheated on her during their marriage. The whole thing keeps going from messy to messier by the minute. Christine's lawyers apparently tried to prove that Kevin was lying about his finances and court documents. They even subpoenaed him to submit documents and receipts of purchases made by him or anyone at his behest for his extramarital affairs. Now, legal experts have claimed that this isn't an unusual move in a bitter divorce, but it's one that Costner's team called a below-the-belt blow. They claim that Christine tried to do everything to prove that Kevin was being unfaithful to her, including bringing up his past. Here's the thing. The reason why the Hollywood star had to pay his first wife an $80 million settlement was that he had admitted to cheating on her. That plus the fact they didn't have a prenup in place. Allegedly, Kevin had cheated on Cindy during production with a hula dancer in Hawaii. He went ahead and admitted he'd done it. And that was enough for Cindy to walk away with one of the largest settlements in Hollywood history. Costner's lawyers claimed that Christine wanted a piece of that pie too. She was trying to prove over and over again that Kevin had cheated on her. Her legal team had alleged that old habits die hard, and the Hollywood actor had been seeing other women during their marriage. Of course, none of this was ever proved in court. Still, when Christine's lawyers turned up the heat, Costner's team followed suit. That's when they brought up the many, many, and many instances where Christine was seen out and about with Josh while still being married to Kevin. Christine's team alleged that she was never alone with Josh and that their daughters would always be there. They tried to suggest that Costner's legal team was trying to misrepresent a friendly play date or a get-together between friends. Again, Christine swore under oath that nothing was going on between her and the multi-million dollar financier. So you could see why Kevin was less than happy when his former wife went official with their relationship. Sources close to The Hollywood Star alleged that he knew it from day one and is disappointed she decided to break up their family for Josh. Again, Christine and her circle are claiming that Kevin's exaggerating the whole thing. She only just started seeing him, and a lot later he started dating Jewel. So yeah, it's a wash. Anyway, from Christine's legal team trying to prove that Kevin had cheated on her, to details of Kevin's messy divorce, that was all on what Kevin Costner has to say about Christine's new man.